y'all welcome back to my channel i'm taryn and this is my dad and you are watching so in the city wow <laughs> so today you can see we're not in the garden we're in the kitchen specifically we're in my dad's kitchen okay my mom and my dad's kitchen so today we are going to be using my kitchen. so today we're going to be anybody using anybody else doing my kitchen get chopped <laughs> So today we are going to be using some of the peaches that were harvested from my garden and we're going to make peach cobbler, of course. Okay, so before we get started, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it, okay? Let's just okay, so the first step is my dad and I are going to take one 15 ounce can of peaches and we're going to add it to this bowl of peaches that we already have seasoned and let's sit out for a while. So dad, tell us what you use to season these peaches with. Well, after I sliced them up, I just put a little cinnamon on them so far. But uh, now we're gonna add some canned peaches just to give it a little more. Cause we didn't, I don't think we had enough of those peaches to make enough cobbler to um, feed everyone. And so we're just gonna give it a few more peaches. And yep. it also has heavy syrup in it to give it a little bit more flavor. And we'll Great. go ahead and put that in the pot. Okay. And I'll stir it up some more. You can make sure it doesn't spill out. Okay, you're doing great. All right, so we just added all the peaches into this pot and my dad string it up to make sure everything is mixed well to together and combined. Okay, y'all, so now we are going to add the sugar. So we will be using white sugar as well as brown sugar. Um, so first we're gonna add the half cup of white sugar. And you're, you're gonna slowly add it into the peaches. Don't just dump all of it at once. You wanna slowly add the white sugar, stir it in, and then slowly add some more. Just to make sure everything is well combined. All right, so after you add the white sugar, you're gonna add the brown sugar. And again, we're adding half cup of both white and brown, okay? So slowly stir that in and then add a little bit more. And as you can see, the peaches are now well combined with the white sugar and the brown sugar. And I wish you could smell this because it smells so good. Okay y'all, so now that the sugar is well combined, we're going to start adding our spices. So, we are going to be using one teaspoon of ground cinnamon. We're also going to be using a little bit of pure vanilla, okay? Not that much, just a little bit. We're also going to be using one teaspoon of ground nutmeg. These uh, cinnamon and nutmegs, you pretty much do that to taste. Uh, we'll probably play with this a little bit, but what we did last time was one teaspoon of each and it turned out pretty good. Okay y'all, now that we've put the spices in here, we're now going to prepare to simmer this on the stove for no more than 15 minutes. Okay you all, so now as you can see, my dad is stirring the pot of peaches uh, along with the spices that are in it and it is on the stove. We're going to let it simmer for no longer than 15 minutes. Okay y'all, so as you can see, my dad is now taking some pre-made pie crust and he's making thin strips that will go um, on top of the actual cobbler. And we may add some strips along the bottom um, side of the cobbler as well. Okay everyone, so now after we've let the peaches simmer on the stove for 15 minutes exactly, my dad is now greasing the, the pot that we're going to use or the pan that we're going to use to put the cobbler in. And just use as much as you think you need just to make sure that um, when you do cook the cobbler or bake it, excuse me, when you do bake it in here, you just want to make sure that it's not sticky. Okay, so my dad's now taking these strips. Um, I showed you in an earlier clip, 
my dad took a pre-made pie crust and he made thin strips so that he can use it to line the bottom and the top of the pan. okay? So you can see, he put one right there and he's gonna continue to do that until he lines the entire bottom part of the pot. Now look at that, that there looks great. And that's where our peaches are gonna go now. Smells amazing. Wow, look at that. Amazing. Look at that. So now my dad is taking the melted butter. So we melted two tablespoons of butter, okay? And he's taking a brush and putting that melted butter on top of the pie crust. He's just lightly melting it over each section of the pie crust just to make sure each pie crust strip is well um, covered in butter. So my dad says we do this because it helps the, the crust to brown and it also gives it better flavor. What I like to do at the very end is put a little nutmeg, cinnamon, brown sugar across the top. Look, all right, so we're heading to the oven, which is on 325. And we're gonna bake this, I believe, about 50 minutes. Okay. When we get it out, we'll be back. Okay. Okay, everyone. So my dad and I have been waiting um, for about 50 minutes for the peach cobbler to finish baking in the oven. So now we're going to check it out and see how it looks and see if we need to keep it in there for a little bit longer or if it's ready. Oh. looks really good y'all and my dad and I are looking at this and we think it's officially finished excellent now we're gonna give it a taste well we're gonna let it cool down and then we'll give it a taste okay y'all my dad is gonna get the first piece of the peach cobbler Amazing. Mm, let me taste that mm, mm, mm. I gotta get a little bit more of that nope. That's okay. Delicious.